When you get into a parish and you start to get into the nitty gritty of ministry and doing work, you get bogged down with the, the, the daily routine. You lose touch of the bigger picture at times. The church was not really growing. It was simply a place where people came for a certain number of years in order to get their kids the sacraments of initiation and afterwards they were gone. And if they got some sense of community or some good feeling while that happened, to give them a good experience of being consumers of the sacraments. That was what we were shooting for. In 2016, I went to uh, St. Benedict's Parish in Halifax and worked with, uh, with Father James and his team there. It, it gave me a spark of hope because I saw a parish that was really vibrant, that was really alive, that was really trying things that were innovative and new, and, and how they were leading that parish in a different way. The big thing that happened for me was at the Easter Vigil when I saw them have six or seven people who were being baptized that day. It struck me that in my parish back home, I hadn't done that. I hadn't baptized anybody, and as an adult. I called back to uh, the secretary at the parish, and I asked her to look up when was the last time that we did an adult baptism at my parish. The last time that we did that was in 1978, and my heart broke. I knew we needed to repent of that. From that moment on, things changed. It was not about a program or just trying something new to see if it worked. It was the absolute conviction that I, I could not do the same things I had been doing. I had an, a dream of transforming my parish and hoping to make it somewhere where people couldn't help but invite other people into that same experience. I want the, the culture of Alpha in my basement, that when we run it in the basement, I want that all over my church. I want that reliance on the Holy Spirit to be everywhere. I want like radical hospitality everywhere. I want people to have real authentic relationships that, that are mutually life-giving for people. One of the great things that I love about my parish is being able to meet new people as they come into church on Sunday. And this one couple who I met, I said, oh, how did you hear about Alpha? Who invited you? Their teenage son invited them. How did your teenage son hear about Alpha? He did it at his school. And I was like, really? Yeah, they run it during lunch with Brian Trainer. Brian had done Alpha and then volunteered afterwards as a teacher over at the school and he runs this Alpha during lunchtime. And it's changing the kids' lives. You hear these experiences. These kids come to our church after their weekend away and talking to these kids, they're, they're saying this is the best weekend of their life. What I love about Alpha is that it brings people into these, these much deeper relationships. It makes people comfortable talking about their faith. It makes people comfortable sharing with others, with their neighbors, with their colleagues at work about their faith. And it gives people something to invite people to. I'm amazed what God is able to do. God has been so good. I, I have not gone through an Easter without baptizing. I'm so in awe of what we've been able to do and how many people we've been able to impact and impact in ways that I don't even know. I can see that people come together, that people don't wanna leave after mass on Sundays, that they wanna hang out, that their kids are having tons of fun at our church. I can see that part of it, but I don't see everything that God is doing in their lives. But when I do hear those stories, it's so humbling, it's so amazing. And all I wanna be is that little boy bringing those loaves and fish to Jesus.